Hey guys! So today I'm going to be doing a video about the products that I've been loving for this month and a lot of them are skincare products versus makeup because a lot of the makeup I've been wearing has been um, consistent. Just haven't really tried out a lot of new stuff and yes, I am sunburned. So that's why I'm not wearing a lot of makeup on my face today because I don't have um, the shade red to match my face with my sunburn. So we're just gonna ignore that part and get ready so to So first off, the makeup products that I have been loving for this month. You might have, um, if you've been watching my channel when I first started, which is like a couple months ago, you might recognize this one. This is the um, Unique BB Flawless BB Cream. And I have been wearing this for like longer than this month. I've kind of been wearing it consistently for a while, but I figured I'd just put it into this video as well because it was my favorite in July as well as in any other month. But I love this product. It is amazing. And I kind of think I won't ever get rid of it just because I love it. It's like a perfect match to my skin. It gives you like a nice dewy look but not like oily or greasy and it's not heavy at all. It's very um it's very light and it just kind of goes on kind of like a lotion. Or if you have used a BB cream before, it just feels like a lighter BB cream, but it gives you pretty mm, I wouldn't I don't want to say sheer coverage, but I don't want to say more than that. It kind of, I can still see my freckles when I put them on, but it kind of just evens out my skin tone entirely. So that can kind of give you a look at what I'm trying to say as far as its coverage. But it, it lasts me a pretty long time because what I do when I put it on is I'll just put like up my middle finger, just about that much, and then rub it all in and, and that works right about here and then I blend it down my neck and then when I go to put more on I just do like from the middle right here to the tip rub that in and do my forehead and blend that down and in so you really don't use that much if you are going to be using it on a daily basis like I do because I don't want to use foundation all the time one because it's heavy and two just because I don't have a lot of time in the mornings when I get ready so it's just so much easier to throw that on after lotion and it just kind of you just put it on with your hands it's a lot easier um, of a process than everything else. So, overall, I use this on a daily basis. I don't know, some people use foundation all the time, but personal preference. So the next product that I have is the Arbonne Mascara, and I have been using it um, previously to the video that I did about Arbonne, and I've actually been using this for like two to three months now something like that but at the beginning I was using it just like on and off with one of my other mascaras just trying to figure out which one I like better and this one is hands down my favorite mascara it's the one I'm wearing right now I don't know if you can tell how long my lashes are with this stuff but like I can't find any other mascara that does what this one does and I I love it. I'm going to have a hard time trying to buy other mascaras now, though I'm going to have to anyway, just to keep this channel updated, but I'm pretty sure I will always have this in my artillery of makeup just because it is amazing and I love it 150%. It's just... I... Can you see what I'm seeing? My lashes are like... Boom! And my, la my lashes are naturally long anyway, but this has like a lengthening, this is a lengthening mascara, and it just, it smells like lavender, it smells really good, and it just, it doesn't make your lashes clumpy whatsoever, it keeps them nice and separated, versus some lengthening mascaras will like clump them together, but this one's like, amazing. That's all I can say, because it's amazing and I will forever love this, but moving on. This is the Image Skincare, um, and this... This is supposed to be my makeup half of the video, so if you're not really into the whole skincare, you can probably just end it after the makeup. And this is a skincare brand, but it's for lips, so I'm kind of just putting it in with the makeup area. But this is the or Ormetic Balancing Lip Enhancement Complex. It's in the little green tube, 
and it does come in a bigger bottle that has like a pump on it but this one just works best for me because I can just throw it in my purse or whatever but it's got like the little, little lip applicator thing and you really just need a little baby bit and then just put it all over your lips and it is pretty great it smells good and it kind of it's hard to describe what it feels like but it feels like um kind of feels like a gel when you first put it on and then it starts to like seep in and it kind of feels more of like a chapstick but it's a lot more hydrating than a chapstick and you can see it like stays on your lips for a really long time I mean probably would fade away if you're like eating and drinking right after you just put it on but for the most part it's pretty awesome it keeps your lips really really hydrated and I don't think it has SPF in it no it doesn't say it has SPF in it but it's for like dry or dehydrated lips fine lines post it, ooh that's cool it says it works well for post derma filter injections so like if you have lip injections I don't have lip injections but it helps with swelling and bruising I guess if you have that well I mean I guess so because it is like medicated lip stuff so I guess that makes sense that's cool so if you have lip injections or fillers this will help I guess cool so I have had this product for about a year yeah probably about a year and I had used it like religiously for a long time and I just kind of stopped because I realized it wasn't my color for like my winter shade or whatever because I get like like white like snow white <laughs> not snow white but I get snow white in the winter but this is the it cosmetics your skin but better CC airbrush perfecting powder with SPF 50 so like I said I hadn't used this for mm, a good amount of time like half a year I hadn't used it just because I was like this is not my shade it's just not my color anymore at the time and then I've been using or I was using a translucent powder in the summertime to set my makeup and then I realized it was kind of whiting out my face and it looked like I had like a mask on and then the rest of my body was like a different color that's not good so then I decided hey I haven't used this in a while let's just try it and see how it works it was perfect because it like pretty much matches my skin tone and it set down my entire a little bit more of a darker kind of overall look to it but it wasn't like drastically darker than it was when I was in like the winter time so this worked perfectly and I think there's a shade lighter than the one I have because this is in shade light so I think there was one lighter than this and I ended up going with this one when I first bought it because I was like no I'm not that white delusional I was in denial so I don't know if I would consider this makeup so let's just make this the rest of the skincare edition of this video of my favorites so this is from perfectly posh which I have talked about in the past and this is their goodnight kisses all night lip mask so after like I'm done getting ready for bed you like brush your teeth sometimes people will exfoliate their lips I exfoliate my lips I don't know if you do but I will put this stuff on and you really just need like tiny tiny little dot just a little bit and just put that on your bottom lip and just hit a little bit put it on your top lip rub it in and then I just go to bed and my lips have been so soft from this this and the other lip product that I had mentioned it's my lips have never been this soft I always had struggled with like dry lips and had like the fine lines and stuff right right in the front right there but now 
now they're super soft and lipstick looks great on them now. I don't have to worry about it look all cracking and looking weird. And it just is awesome. So I think a combination of using this like every night and then exfoliating my lips and constantly having chapstick on my lips is really helpful for keeping this pretty soft. So next up I have the Clinique Clinique Broad Spectrum SPF 30 sunscreen and this one's for your face. It's real it doesn't feel like oily and heavy like normal skin or uh, um normal sunscreens do. It doesn't feel like it clogs your pores. It goes on kind of like a lotion almost. I'll just put like a little bit on my hand here. And it does get your face a little bit white. Let's see. Can you see that? How it went on like that? And now it's kind of has like a slight little like white look to it. So I don't know if you can, yeah, you can kind of tell compared to my other hand, right? Can you see it or am I just seeing it? I don't know. Either way, take my word for it. It does kind of have like a very slight white hue to it. So I would wear this under makeup, but like if you're not going to be wearing makeup at all, maybe try doing something maybe a little different. Or if you are going to use this, just kind of use a less amount of it or like really, really rub that stuff in. But this stuff is so, so great. I've been using it every day on my skin when I go out on the boat, when I just am walking around. And I'll do it all the way through here into my neck. That's probably why. <laughs> That's probably why my sunburn didn't happen right here. Because I always put it on my face and on my neck. And then I just put on other sunscreen all over my body. But we see that wasn't a good idea. Because <laughs> now I'm burned everywhere but my neck and my face. But that's how you know it works. Because... I really would rather put on makeup that's just darker that'll match the rest of my body than having a sunburn on my face. You know what I mean? Because like that really hurts and I'd rather just put on makeup that can blend in and just look natural than suffering through the burned face and neck which really sucks. Especially if you're going to be peeling on your face and you try to wear makeup. That's not pretty. Anyway. The number seven, that, that's what it's called, number seven, can you see that? Um, their line of products are amazing. I've tried a, a handful of them, but this one is just the one that I've been using most, and it's the Early Defense Eye Cream. Not that I necessarily need to be worrying about worrying about eye cream and like my eyes and stuff, but it's really, really great because even, even at my age of 17, gonna be 18, I had some pretty fine lines right here already, which was not good. But it's just because for most of my life when I'd be putting on like eyeliner and stuff, I always would pull on my eye. And then even when I was taking off makeup, I would pull and pull on my eye, which was so not good. And I was starting to get, like, crow's feet. But, like, very fine line ones. They weren't super noticeable, but I could notice them. And I was like, that is not right. I'm only 17. That's not cool. And then the lineage that I had that was starting here and went, like, all the way down here was not good. And it's just... Again, like, when you're putting on lotion or taking off your makeup, you're pulling this way all the time. But learning and knowing what I know now about being in the future, I'm going to be an esthetician, I know how you should be pulling at this, not really pulling at the skin, but how you should be going, like, when you're rubbing your face, you should be doing circles right here and then pushing, pulling, or, yeah, pushing inwards towards your nose and then pushing upwards into your eyes like this so that way you don't have those lines but a combination of doing that <clears throat> a combination of doing that more and using this eye cream right here and right here and you you're supposed to only do eye cream like right on your orbital lobe or orbital lobe no your lobe lobes are in the brain your or your eye socket your orbital socket right here 
is where you feel like right here, right about your cheekbones, and you start to come up over here, and then it's right in your eyebrows. You're not supposed to do it right here. So I was doing it all along here, all the way through here, kind of bringing it down a little bit further to get those lines. And then, yes, I did push it up into here, and I did get right here in the crow's feet area. And it's been amazing. I love it. I do not have those lineages anymore, really. Or if I do, they're like barely noticeable. I mean, you can kind of still see a little bit of a pull right here, but I think that's just normal. Anyway, <laughs> that was a lot of talking for one product. I get a little off hand, but you just learned something, didn't you? Do this, go in, and in, and in. There you go. As far as like a body scrub, I mean, it's this is a beauty channel. Not necessarily, I'm not gonna just make it makeup because I want to do like skincare and I want to do a little, little bit of fashion stuff. Just a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Just because I like beauty in general. But mostly it's going to be skincare and makeup channel. Why am I even mentioning that? I don't know. But this is the <laughs> Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Hand and Body Scrub with gluten free vitamin E firming and toning. Let's do this differently. There we go. Now you can see better. And oh my goodness gracious. I have been using this, like I said, like it's for, on your body and in the shower. It is amazing. My skin is like so soft and it has like, has coconut oil in it. So coconut oil is awesome. And the, the beads of the actual like scrubbing are pretty vigorous. It's, they're pretty harsh, but not like, not like unbearable. It's just like they're very thick beads versus when you have like sea salt scrubs they're kind of a little bit more fine these ones are very thick and I think that worked great because you get all like all the dead skin or anything like that off and oh, it smells so good I wish you could smell it if you pick up some you could buy it and you can smell it then I'll tell you that much but it kind of has like a I don't know can you see it has like a slight pink tint in it and it smells so good but it is I probably shouldn't have done this but I just I felt like it because sometimes I'm not smart but I took a little little bit just a little bit and I scrubbed it onto my hands like this to get most of the big beads out of it not beads because it's sea salt so they're not beads but you know what I mean like the thick clusters Clusters. So I tried to get out most of those, and then I did use it on my face, which as long as I pre didn't press down very hard, it wasn't that harsh, so it wasn't that bad, but I would not recommend doing that on like a daily basis or anything. I just hadn't exfoliated my face in like two weeks, which you're supposed to exfoliate at least once a week, so I hadn't done it in like two weeks, and I was like, well, it can't hurt that bad, can it? So again, I just used a little bit and then I didn't press down really hard, but I just scrubbed all right here in my T-zone, all right there, and it, it took away all the dead skin. It made my face feel like really, really nice and it was really soft because of the coconut oil in it. And I think it would, I mean, I have to do some more research on it, but I think it would be okay if you use it just the little bit on your face and just like I said, don't scrub too hard. Just enough just very gently I think it would be okay only because if you do this enough you'll get the big clusters out and that will give you like the micro cuts in your face that you don't realize like if you use like a sea salt or if you use like a pretty harsh scrub on your skin it will leave like little micro cuts on your skin or on your face because um, your face skin is a little bit more sensitive and a little and a lot thinner than in your body so your body can obtain and handle that a lot easier and better than your face can but your face can get like little micro cuts which you don't really realize but it just it just isn't really good for your face and it can kind of cause openings for wounds or bacteria to get in there which can cause more acne listen to me I'm literally being a nerd I'm, I'm kind of a uh, 
skincare and like a little bit of a science nerd just a little bit so you just learned something about me you're welcome not that you care but again getting off topic that could work for your face just be careful I will update you on that so Arbonne now you already know how I feel about the Arbonne makeup but now the Arbonne skincare products I don't know man pretty awesome They're pretty awesome now I haven't tried all of them I have just tried the um, FC5 line which is these oh. get up there which is so I have only been using <clears throat> the FC5 line but it is awesome the FC5 is like for dry skin because it's like a hydrating like cleansing one and so we have the nourishing daily lotion which is um, like if you watch that video it has it's like the other um, makeup primer little circular thing in there and it starts at the bottom and it like slowly pushes it all up you can you can see the color difference because this is just empty bottle and this is all full of product but I use this because this is your daily lotion so I will put this on in the morning have it on throughout the day put it on underneath makeup it's amazing and then the FC5 hydrating cleanser that I use at night is really really great it it just smells so clean like if you can picture what clean smells like and I'm not talking about pledge but like almost like a like fresh laundry hanging on a line outside by a cotton field something like that <laughs> very descriptive Chelsea but it just smells super clean it doesn't have like a very potent smell like other products do it it's for like normal to dry skin like I said and you really only need a little bit of any of their products like they are highly concentrated you really only need a little bit just a little bit and it works amazingly I just do two pumps of the daily moisturizing lotion and it covers my whole face and down my neck and the cleanser I use the size of like a pea or like the size of a pea and a half kind of or like a like a peanut <gasps> that's a good that's a good yep yeah. not like the big peanuts but like one of the little peanuts yeah probably about the size of like a peanut that's the size I will use and I just put that all over my face and then I take my cleansing brush that I have and just buff that all in there and wash it off and then the moisturizing night cream so the only thing I don't like about this is that it's in like a pot like this so you have to like stick your finger in there and there. I wish it was more of like a pumping one but I maybe because it's thicker they can't do that but again the smell it just smells so good and it's not potent like a lot of like Bed Bath & Beyond products are or other skincare products out there it's just very very light and it doesn't really like linger or whatever but I will put this on at night and again your face is just so soft in the morning because I've been using this, like I said, for probably about the, this whole month, maybe maybe like a week over or something like that. And my face has like been the softest that it's ever been in a long time. Or just ever. So those products are super good. And to follow on top of washing my face, doing the whole skincare routine, before I put on the night cream at night, I will do the Dermalogica multi-active toner and this one is the hydrating and refreshing toner um, some people don't know how to use toner but like you're supposed to put it on after you're done like washing your face or whatever and like immediately put on lotion of some sort whether it's night cream any kind of lotion that you have just because it like sinks in there it really gets in there and I will do about like one, two, three, four, about four spritzes of this. I wish it wasn't so aggressive 
with its spritz. Like, I, I wish it, like, fanned it out a little bit more. It's a little bit more direct, and you're like, mm. Especially if this is your first. So it's very aggressive. I don't know if you can see this. Mm. Hits your face pretty hard. Not as spritzy, a little bit more of... Mm. And then... So anyway, that's out. the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and... Please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me. I would really like it if my subscribers can grow and let me know in the comments any ideas you guys might want for videos, any ideas you guys might have for videos um, down in the comments below or follow my Instagram and either comment or DM me and tell me any ideas you guys might want for videos. Because like I said, I have ideas upon ideas written down. It's just I'd like it if I could make it a little bit more personal and if you guys want to see anything directly related to you or anything you think people might struggle with or you struggle with, just let me know so I can make it make this channel better for you guys to ha to watch and to be entertained and to learn. So, like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel while you're down there and you might as well comment. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.